burgers are cooking and smell good. Yeah, so I just did a black diamond run before this and you know <laughs> like these kind of runs are definitely more my speed and you're just trying not to die those runs this one these ones you can kind of enjoy a little bit more without having to worry those ones like you make one mistake you're fucking tumbling down a cliff so uh, Got some people waiting for me to pass. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is run number three of the day. Not sure how many I'll get to, but three or four is always a pretty good number. Five. Keeps you in shape, that's for sure. Those bugs are weird. They like make loud noises when they fly. Not super comfortable with jumps just because I've had some bad falls in the past or it's just going way too hard and so it's definitely a PTSD kind of a thing where it's like a mental block you just gotta get over but if you just trust it and commit don't doubt yourself. You'll be fine. You also kind of need to know what you're doing too. <laughs> uh, this little hut right here. I swear there's a fucking bear or something that lives in there. I'm not positive, but one time I rode by, there's some rustling, some rustling going on in there. I'm a, Unless it was a person, but I didn't see a bike parked next to it or anything, so I don't know, I just assumed it was a big animal that made that little hut its home. But I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so you never know. Yeah, more trails more my speed that's for sure beep, 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 beep. like I said the other ones here are like basically going down a fucking cliffside 90 degrees it's just intense glad I survived <laughs> say that oh. Oh. 
this is a new jump run right here to the left. I haven't tried yet. Probably should have done it just now. But there's like some wood features in there and kind of beginner, intermediate style jump run. Also something I have some PTSD with is loose rocks and loose gravel because there's a span where I fell four times in like three days from just going around a turn fast and you know like a berm or something and there is loose gravel or loose sand in my tires just lost traction and I just ate shit. So like, that's something else. Jumps and loose gravel and loose dirt. Those two things really freak me out, honestly. <laughs> Cause everything could be fine. And then all of a sudden you lose traction out of nowhere and you're fucking overboard. So that's the thing with mountain biking. You really can't take a second off to look at the view <laughs> unless you stop because you know one small mistake could really end up hurting you oh. so I don't go as fast around corners as I used to because unless I see that's compact, but if you can tell that it's a little loose, definitely want to stay have your center of gravity. You don't want to lean too far one direction because that's how you slide out right there. Have loose rocks, so that's kind of a trick. If you see that it's really loose, you really just want to stay center, have a good center of gravity, and. And uh, you don't want to slam your front brake too much either because then your tire can lock up and that'll send you overboard. So these are just things that you learn as you go. those bugs it's are so funny they have like little motorcycle engines attached to them or something I don't know what they're called but I just make a ton of noise I normally have the camera strapped to my chest and this is the first day where I have it on my helmet on the face mask part of it on my full face helmet and we'll see how it turns out but I feel like it's going well so far because the thing with your chest is if you try to get a view to the right or the left instead of right in front of you your arms are blocking it because your arms are reaching down holding the handlebars um, with your face you can look any direction and there's no blockage Ugh. and I feel like the viewer really kind of sees your point of view Ugh. much better excuse me for burping <laughs> oh, I had some chilaquiles for breakfast this morning oh. 
you don't know what chilaquiles are, it's basically Mexican French toast, I like to say, just because instead of soaking egg with bread, you soak the egg with corn tortillas and chop up, chop up the tortillas. So there's little bits and then you add some tomato, onion, jalapeno, cheese, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. It's really good. It almost ends up being like breakfast nachos in a way, but not really. Just because the tortillas with the egg. But it sure is delicious. saw a rattlesnake at Snow Basin last weekend, just off the trail. And I haven't seen anything like that here. I've seen a little garden snake that I actually think I ran over. It was right in the middle of the trail. It was a tiny little snake. The one at Snow Basin was freaking huge last weekend. Big old rattlesnake. And I was in the middle of nowhere too when I saw it. It's just like, uh, you know, something happens out there. You're on your own. Good luck. It's a long ride down, too. It's like an hour or two, depending on your skill level, to get from the top to the bottom of Snow Basin. And if you take breaks or not, it's a long ride. So, if something happens, you're kind of on your own. Places like this are better because there's patrol. The runs aren't as, they're long, but they're not as long. And uh, more people on the trail to help you. There's better vibes here. But it's good to switch it up every now and then. Go try something new, different. Still a lot of trails here at Powder Mountain that I haven't done yet that are not serviced by that chairlift. That's the only chairlift right here that works in the summer. It's called Hidden Lake. But there's trails all over the place that you can do that aren't serviced by the chairlift. And they're kind of just like a big loop. So I'll give those a shot one of these days. Uh. Woo. Oh man. I like your hat. Thank you. Nothing like a Coors banquet. Right? She sounds pretty good right now. Well, I could still go for a nice cold winter. Yeah, that'd be real nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. You guys can do it. Yeah. Pretty cool gig you guys got though. Not bad. They do have a cool job. Not sure how much they make, but I've kept that in mind if something happened with my job for some whatever reason. I saw that there are some positions here. Even like higher up ones where like an administrative administrative assistant or an executive assistant or whatever. And then marketing positions. There's a one. So. <sighs> that area right there is where my tire popped on my hardtail. And that is the day I bought my new full suspension that I'm currently riding. <laughs> I was like, you know, 
I don't know if a hardtail is the best thing to have. That trail's not really the one that this guy's coming down on right now. I forget the name of it already. I did it last run, I already forget the name of it. Two forty-seven. Probably about time to head back. I do kind of want to check out those trails on the front side of the mountain. Well, Powder Mountain, August, what's the date say? August 12th, 2023, and it's definitely starting to get cooler. We'll see how long the mountain's open for. Um, you know, things in Utah change. Like that hill right there in the winter is all powder. It's incredible. Paradise chair, so much fun. And all oh, this right here under the lift too is a ton of fun in the winter as well. So I'll be filming myself doing cool stuff as long as I can. Just got this camera for about a month ago. So it's been a good little ride so far. So I feel like winter, winter time will be probably the best footage. Only so many people are into mountain biking, but lots of people are into snowboarding and skiing. So it'll be fun. But uh, thanks for watching. And I'm, I'm gonna say I've started been trying to come up with a slogan. And, you know, I'm from San Diego originally, so I think I'm going to go with Keep It Classy with an honor to Anchorman, the Will Ferrell movie. So thanks again for watching, and you stay classy, everybody. Peace.